Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. In this video, a short video, I'm going to show you a couple basic tools how to check for voltage at an outlet. We have a 120 outlet volt here now, then we're going to go to a 220 volt outlet. One, for the, the people that really don't want to start picking and prodding, um, you know, a tester like this, basically what this is going to do, is going to tell us if we have power and if the polarity is correct, meaning the wires if it's wired correctly. And you see if we plug it in like this, we're gonna have two orange lights right here. And on the top, it's gonna show you uh, it, that it's correct. And if it wasn't, well, if the red one was lit, and that one's not lit. And it'd tell, it'd tell you what's wrong. I'll show you more of that at the end of the video. Another tester we have, it's a non-contact tester. Uh, this is a particular uh, a, a good brand, so it's, it's, it works better, but they also have cheaper ones that are not so good. These are, I mean, really as a reference, uh, on an outlet, when it's facing you like this, you're going to have your ground, you have your neutral, and you're going to have your hot on the right. So we just put it in there, lights up red, goes beep, beep, beep. Uh, also, if you had a wire, you could run it around the wire, and it would beep. Uh, it's... It, not, I don't recommend using it. You have another tester here, which this one's kind of cool. It, uh, you plug it in and it will tell you if you're at 110 or if it's 220 volts, lights up. If you can see, it lights up 110 volts there. Even if it's 125 volts, it's still going to light up at 110. It's once you get into the 220 realm that the, both of these will light up. And then my favorite, uh, it takes, takes a little bit longer to use, depending upon, is our, our regular multimeter. Uh, so, you know, all multimeters are a little bit set up different, so I'm not going to show you how I have it, but it's on AC voltage. We're going to plug it in, and this way we can actually measure the actual volts. So we have 122 volts. Now, that's basically how we are going to check a, uh, an outlet. So, multimeter, once again, a multimeter, we're going to go to our neutral and our, our hot here, and we're gonna get our voltage, or we can actually go, we can go keeping it into our hot here. We can come down and put it into our ground, and we should still have our voltage. We can go back to our neutral down here and still have our voltage, okay? All right, so let's get over to a 220 volt outlet now. All right, now we're gonna do a 220 volt. Now, you know, Whenever playing with electricity, uh, you want to, you know, use caution, of course. And now, of course, you know, you're checking for voltage, so the circuit's live, right? Okay, so let's go to the 220 volt. Okay. All right, this is our dryer outlet, which is a four-wire, 220 volt, 30 amp outlet. Now, obviously, it would be nice, but we can't use one of those. We could use our, our non-contact uh, tester, so we have hot. I can't get in there quite that good with this, you know, so you see, uh, again, this wouldn't be a, a good alternative because I know it's hot, but this tester, I can't get in there good enough or around. So this is really, you know, not a good idea. Okay, let's go back to this one. Now, if you don't know, when you're looking at an outlet like this, and yours could be upside down or it could be a different amperage, which would even look different but this is still a four wire. We have our, our hot, a hot, we have our neutral, and we have a ground, okay? So what we're doing, we wanna check for 220 volts. We're gonna put these both into the hot lead, which, I mean, they're in there, so it's a little bit harder to reach. And you can see, now that whole entire thing lights up. Now, uh, say, you know, we, you didn't have the 220, but you had uh, something else going on. We can go from one hot to, to our neutral, and we have 110 volts. We can go back to the other one, and to make contact, a little bit hard. Okay, we're not getting, oh, I had it for a second. Oh, there, okay. All right, let's go back to the multimeter now. Now, what we're checking, we wanna make sure we have our 200 and our at least 220 volts. So we're going to hot to hot, and if we read our multimeter right there, you'll see we have 245 volts, okay? Now, if we go, say, back to the ground, we have half of that, which is 
well not exactly, but 123 volts. We can go uh, to our neutral and we should have the same. If we can just make contact in there, there we go. Good. So, so that's how we're going to check for voltage at a 220 volt outlet. Okay, now here's our little plug-in tester, as I was showing you uh, earlier. Now, I'm not going to get crazy into it because I must have about several different ones of these, different brands and colors, uh, and they're not all the same. Some of these are reversed and whatever, okay? But just to give you an idea, this one here is showing that if we have two yellow lights, that is correct. Where, where it's whited out right here, that means not lit at all. And if you go on, you'll see uh, this red light is lit. This one, the next yellow is lit, but the one way on the end is not lit. And that's telling you that uh, you, have, you have the hot and the neutral uh, reversed and so on. It tells you all this. And of course, uh, if none of them are lit, uh, you don't got dilly squat. So, I mean, again, uh, that's this particular one. All right, well, that's how you check. Uh, Two outlets, 220 volt and 120 volt outlets uh, with the, the different testers, depending upon what exactly are you trying to achieve. Uh, do you just have power or what, else, what are the, the voltage readings on them? And I showed you a couple different ways to, um, to test it. Anyway, be safe. Don't get shocked. Any questions, comments, just leave them. I reply to all of them. And subscribe, please. I'm going to go back and see if I can win some money.